So we just came face to face with a friggin' leopard. So guys, we've arrived in the Yala National Park. Oh, that's a bit dark. Um, we're just at this nice little spot here. It's so peaceful. Where are we staying, Brie? We're staying at Gem River Edge in Kataragama on the border of Yala National Park. Yeah, we can't wait for the next two nights and particularly tomorrow, we're heading out on a safari. We did actually see a couple of elephants on the way here. Here, which was Pretty crazy and the first elephants that we've ever seen in the wild. Alright, so we just had some lunch at a nice little vegetarian spot, some curry. Now it's time for our broom tour. So we're staying at Gem River Edge, which is an eco-friendly um, accommodation. You can see that everything in our rooms is made of natural materials. We've got a gorgeous double room. But the best part is I have to take you through to the bathroom. Might be a little bit dark, but we'll see. <laughs> My best, my favourite part is the tree. They've literally built the room around the tree, which is so cool. And the bathroom is massive. Like, I definitely don't need all this bench space, but it's really cool. Ready to rock and roll? Let's rock and roll. So we've been told there is a river Oops, just down here at the edge of the resort, so. Let's go see. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to walk around and explore this place, but it's so peaceful here. We just basically dropped our bags and went and got food because we were that hungry. So we just walked down to the river's edge and it is so peaceful. I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing after a long day on the buses. I can't believe this is literally right behind where we're staying. Like, we're part of the resort right now. And you can't, can't really get it on the camera, but there's these little small birds, all brightly coloured. It's so beautiful down here. So the plan this evening is to go check out the temple to watch the ceremony and then afterwards we're going to have dinner right here. They've got a vegetarian restaurant so we can't wait to try that out. And then we have to get to bed early because tomorrow we're up really early to go on our safari. Our first ever safari. I'm pretty sure it is. Can't wait, see some big elephants, maybe even a leopard. Fingers crossed. So. At Kataragama Temple, and at 6 30 they have the ceremony. Firstly, we're going to visit the Buddhist temple and then to the Hindu temple. So, it's really cool to see the difference. You going to the ceremony too, mate?
Good morning, guys. Right now, we are on safari in the Yala National Park. Um, we have just had the most incredible morning on the back of the Jeep, spotting all types of wildlife, some pretty awesome looking birds. Peacocks, crocodiles, water buffalo. And there was something else. What was it? A leopard. We saw a friggin' leopard <laughs> face to face. One of the most incredible experiences. So we're like on safari one minute and now we're at this amazing beach next. How bloody good. So today is going to be a very long day. We're actually on a full day safari. We're staying in Kataragama, which is a less touristy area outside of the Yala National Park, which means we actually use a different entrance to some of the, uh, some of the other safari tours. So it's a little less crowded. Um, even when we saw the leopard, there was only two other Jeeps there. So it makes it much more special when there's not heaps of crowds and heaps of tourists. So guys, right here where we are standing, we used to be a building and it actually got swept away in the 2004 tsunami. There's actually a memorial just over there. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure you would have heard about the tsunami in 2004. I think it claimed of something like over 200,000 lives in uh, around the Indian Ocean. It swept through the whole south coast of Sri Lanka, which is where we are now. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy to think that this used to be a building and has been washed away. Yeah, and it, so 47 people actually died here and I think um, many of them were actually tourists, so it's pretty crazy. Back on the safari. Crazy was that? That's our first elephant. It was only a little young one, but it's like for some more. So there's just a leopard just in the air, and hopefully, it's going to cross the road. by the beach again for lunch. The jeeps actually stop from 12 to 2 o'clock every day. You're not allowed to drive it around in the park. So it's a good time to just relax. We might have a bit of a nap because we woke up so early. But another successful session. We saw another leopard. We saw a male young elephant. Oh, we're really hoping to see a big one. So after lunch, we're gonna go back out and fingers crossed we'll see a few more elephants. safari done but our day however is still going we've got to climb up there there's a buddhist temple that we're going to go check out and apparently it's got this amazing view which we all can already see it's but yeah so much of yala national park but too i just saw people walking up there do you reckon that's where we have to go i don't know i don't think we'll make it there but no. let's just go enjoy a sunset and top off what was the most incredible day ever Okay, so it turns out we are going to the far one. Are you pumped for this, Brie? I'm stuffed. <laughs> gonna go all the way up there, somewhere. Up there, somewhere, up there, right there. That's one big rock, all held up by these little sticks. Holding a rock up. Yeah. We made it. 
Another look at this view. Incredible. What a way to finish off a perfect day. Just us two walking up on the most incredible, incredible rock. The only other person that was here was a Buddhist monk and he was just sweeping the steps, really surreal. But right now, let's go get some dinner. And shower. Crazy day, eh? Good morning everybody. We have just come down by the river after a beautiful breakfast and we're soaking in the last of this beautiful nature here at Yellow National Park um, before we head to the beach. Yeah, we had a hectic day yesterday on our tour. We saw so much wildlife, but it's really worth relaxing this morning to get over that big day. Um, we were staying at Gem River Edge, which is located just behind these trees and they provided a tour, a food and where we were staying while we were here and we can't recommend them enough. We loved our experiences here. So if you are coming to Yellow National Park, make sure to check out Gem River Edge because you will not regret staying here. So guys, if you're enjoying our content, make sure you have subscribed if you haven't already and see you in the next adventure with Chalky and the Chippy. So I just had to run back to the room. I forgot the most important piece of equipment for going surfing, the GoPro. Oh, let's get back down. Baby sharks, where's the mama shark? That's what I want to know. I was surfing out here yesterday. 